welcome back to another video. How are we all? Your boy is pretty decent. I am pretty good today. This is the first build video I've recorded when we've actually surpassed 1,000 subscribers. This is the first one. And, uh, yeah, it's... I don't know. I don't even know what to say. Thank you. That video should have come out already. The whole 1K thingy. I don't know. Anyways, today we're going to take a look at the Tomb Finger Primary. Um, just built this and then actually built it today. Uh, leveled it up earlier. Uh, the parts I'm using on mine are the Tremor Grip, Tomb Finger Chamber and the Slap Needle Loader. Um, I mean loaders and things like that are really different. And I watched a video on this weapon and... I believe you can't, is it the brash grip? Is that the other grip? There's the tremor which is like the slower fire rate, high damage grip, essentially. And the brash grip is the higher fire rate, lower damage weapon. Now, the tomb finger does shoot like a secondary tomb finger, like we all know. But it also has this charge up, which is pretty cool. And that goes off a of fire rate. So this has a, uh, a mod, a, a fire rate mod in it which is obviously boosting that a bit. If you don't have it, it's very slow, which is why you'd use the the other grip that increases your fire rate so that you don't have to worry about building or sticking a fire rate mod in and therefore you would uh, have a bit more damage to put in. Ideally, that's what I probably should have done with this one, but I didn't. I now know. You know, I decided to watch videos after I'd already made it because I'm smart. So this build here is one that everybody can build. I've got three. I've got a corrosive, insanely damaging one, which is surprisingly good. And then there is a, oh, my my preferred build that I use, but this one everybody can get. So as you can see, I'll do four charged up shots. You see like three and four K bleeds aren't bad. Um, it's gonna spread bleeds over to these guys because of the radio attack, but it's not you do more damage to the the first target. That's see, that's doing more damage. That's doing nearly nineteen thousand damage, which is pretty decent. Just getting that slash and that viral to proc at the same time. That's the uh... there you go. So when they both proc, they both proc. That's going to get really annoying. And I'm using Pack Seeker because I prefer it overcharge. Arcanes on these really are up to you, like weapon arcanes, you use what you want, it doesn't really matter. So that's with it charged up. Inconsistent, sometimes it seems to do more, but it's just what procs, you know, it, it, if you don't get your procs, then you're going to struggle. And then let's just spam this a little bit. See, impact. So it's definitely more efficient to charge up. Oh, for fuck's sake. I fucking hate impact. It's so shit. I'm not gonna die from that. There you go. So yeah, I recommend charging over spamming. I mean it's okay. Like one thing you could do, charge up your shots. Apply some status and then shoot them. That would work. That, do that does work. You're gonna die from that. As you can see, it's just, uh, yeah, I I've quite enjoyed this weapon. I really do enjoy it. I like the fact that it's got that charge up shot. That's uh, certainly one of the cooler parts about this. I think this is probably my second favorite kit gun. Probably. It's tied between two and three, because the gaze is definitely my favorite. But this is probably tied with the brow guts. I just love this fire mode. The catch mode I've not actually built yet, as of recording this. I haven't built it, so... I can't comment on how good or bad that is. And yeah, I'm not using Ash. Everybody that whines about me using Ash at the start of my videos can now shut the fuck up, because I'm not using Ash. 
I'm using Equinox and normal Equinox just because I bought this skin so I've got to show it off somehow. Now I can go on to Ash. So I'm just going to show off this build for every frame because this is like a, an achievable build. Everybody can go and get this and then I'll show off my builds at the end for the other two. Um, but what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to sit there and read all the stats anymore. Just to save a little bit of time. Because I don't, uh, yeah, it's just... Yeah, as you can see, it's really hard. So yeah, with no armor, it's very good. Uh, I very, really, really... Ash is someone I've been playing a lot in... Uh, Uh, sorties recently. I've been doing quite a few sorties just to do them. Um, when I've got a bit of free time, that's something I've been doing. And uh, yeah, he's someone I've been using. I do, I do really enjoy Ash. He's he's my second or third most used frame overall now. I don't know if test room stuff has anything to do with that. I'm not sure. Now that's fine. You know, why why proc hunt munitions when you don't need it? Am I right? That's it. Proc it right at the fucking end. That's great. Thanks, game. Please fuck me harder. Yeah, with Ash, it's still disgusting. If you can hear shouting in the background, that is Jack. Because he, you know. Yep, yeah, that is Jack. Don't worry, it's only one in the morning. It's fine. No one's asleep. It's all good. It's all good. Hit. And with Wisp. See, Wisp is someone that would be great if you're not building for fire rate. So, I believe with this, I'm using Speed Trigger. If you were to build with, with this and you, you like using Wisp a lot, I would say drop Speed Trigger and chuck on something like Heavy Caliber or one of the Bane mods. Because this build isn't using either of those. Definitely use one of them instead. Because, yeah, with Wisp, you don't need to build Fire Rate. Especially not with this Wisp build anyway. Like I said, I'm getting nearly 70% bonus Fire Rate. That's something that really isn't necessary. So that's... Wisp is great for, like, charged weapons, where you can completely buff them up. Who else do I use? It's been so long since I've done one of these. It's Mirage now, but everything's all fucked up. Thank you. They've had a, we've had two new frames since my last video. It's been so long. I'm actually running out of weapons to build. It's quite depressing. As you can see, what, what do you expect? What do you expect? <laughs> the only thing that you could use to buff this up even further would be to use a carrier or a sentinel with the vigilante mods on it and just buff up those crits. Eight. Something I am going to show you is in a minute is a build using everything and like that. So let's just get this bit out of the way quick. I'll go over this build. I'll go over my second build, and then I'll go over the corrosive, ex in really powerful one, and then you'll uh, you'll see. So serration for damage, split chamber for multi shot, point strike vital sense, crit chance, crit damage. I'm using speed trigger just because I know everyone has it. I'll get onto that in a second. Hunt munitions for slash on a crit and then malignant force rhyme rounds for the viral. Ow. I'm using speed trigger for my fire rate. There are there are a few ones you could use. You can use shred, you can use prime shred if you have it. I believe prime shred is a login reward so not everyone has that. Um, so use speed trigger. You can use file acceleration if you'd like. I know a lot of people don't like losing damage, but that's an option. Uh, but speed trigger, I know everyone's got it, so that's why I've chucked that on there. I'm trying to make these builds a little bit more accessible. Now for the build I use, I use serration and bane of corrupted. Everything else is the exact same. Um, just I've dropped vital sense for bane of corrupted. Now I'm still using speed trigger because I have found with prime shred. Sometimes the secondary fire doesn't explode, but I'll chuck it on now just in case. So we do lose a little bit of fire rate. We get that bonus of punch through, which is nice, I guess. I need to swap to someone else. Let's swap to this Mirage. Sure. So I'm getting no buffs or anything like that. 
I don't have any arcanes, I'm not doing any of that. And this is what it's like. So this is why I don't like using Prime Shred, because it's, why, why is it not exploding? I think Shred has a... Uh, because of that punch through, it's kind of ruining it, because if I shoot the floor, it explodes. So that's why I don't use Shred, as an example. Um, I think what's happening, because the punch through is happening, it's going through the target, and then it just stops. Because it's not actually hitting a surface, it's not hitting a wall or an enemy as such, because it's going through them both. It, uh... It doesn't explode. So that's why I, I try and swerve shred because of that reason. So now you guys, you know, you know. Um, it doesn't always happen in missions if you're shooting the floor and things like that. Or if you shoot through an enemy and it hits the wall behind them, it will explode. But just doing stuff like this, as you see now, it's going to explode. So I don't know why it does that. That's my guess anyway, is it's punching through the enemies and then it's going to keep going, but it doesn't hit anything. So it just stops. That's what I think's happening. But as you can see with this build here, with the Bane mod on, it's doing much better than before. So, again, I'm not going to sit here and spam the trigger because it's, it's not worth doing. So that's what I use. So just, if you have Bane of Corrupted, drop Vital Sense and chuck on... Uh... Whatever that one was. Bane Corrupted, and then, yeah. I'd recommend Speed Trigger over any. And finally, the Corrosive build. So, this one has very specific uses. I've noticed it does a shit ton of damage. It's surprisingly powerful. Um, you get no slashes, none of that. This is pure damage. So, Serration Heavy Caliber. That's just for damage. Minus Accuracy doesn't really matter that much. It's, yeah, it's whatever. Bane of Corrupted, Split Chamber... Point Strike, Vital Sense, High Voltage, and Malignant Force. So that gives us the Corrosive. I'll show you without any buffs, and then I'll show you it with Mirage with all my buffs. And uh, you, you will see it. It's surprisingly powerful. So, it's slow. We've got no fire rate mods on here at all. But as you see, it's not awful. Three shots. This would be a build that is great with like a Mirage Prime with all their buffs, or a Wisp with the fire rate. Well, you know, you can use the arcanes that buff your primary fire rate and your damage and things like that. You'll be getting even more. But look at that. If you could hit, that would be even better. So that's not bad. I don't know if people don't like using Pack Seeker, but I, I like it. It's not that bad. It drops off later game, but there's like it's better than the other one. So, pure damage, this one. And then I'll show you again. But this time I've got all of the buffs. And I'm actually going to chuck on a carrier, so I get the Vigilante buffs. I'm not using armaments, but obviously I still get um, all of the buffs from the Vigilante mods. So, this is... yeah, this is that. That just gives me all the bonuses. We're going to stand up here. Use all our buffs. Yes. And look at that, they're all dead. So yeah, I'm getting a lot of buffs using this. So you're going to have to specifically build for this if you want that kind of performance, which is... It's not cheap, but it's not that bad. As you can see. <laughs> that's just cleared the wave, pretty much. That's killed four out of four. So two shots. And eight. One, 160 heavy gunners. Oh, gone. I believe they're 160. Yeah, 160s. So, I'm quite proud of this setup. So yeah, that is that. I'm getting 600% bonus damage from my Mirage ability, 180% bonus damage from the Arcane Rage, 90% fire rate from Arcane, I think it's Velocity or whatever it's called, the one that gives you a bit of fire rate, and then all the crit enhancements from the Vigilante set. And that's how you get that. So. That is that. I'll show you again once more. So for the corrosive build, if you would like to go down that route, it's very, very, I want to say niche, but it's uh, it's very powerful with the right group. Um, Serration, heavy caliber for damage, split chamber for multi-shot, Bane of Corrupted, point strike, vital sense, high voltage, malignant force. And these are the stats 
for those of you that are interested like I said I'm just not gonna stop reading these now just makes it easier and easy to build build for everybody serration split chamber point strike vital sense hunting munitions speed trigger malignant force and rhyme rounds and then for my preferred build the exact same as the other one but I'm using Bane of Corrupted instead of Vital Sense. So yeah, that is that. There you guys go. Three builds. I'm happy that one of them works. Um, and that is that. So if you guys did enjoy that, please leave a like, leave a dislike if you didn't for whatever reason. Um, let me know in that comment section. Maybe you haven't got this weapon yet. Maybe you have. I know the parts aren't fine-tuned. I know there are some better parts and some worse parts. I just build with what I know. I believe Killstream is a better loader statistically than uh, whatever I'm using, but I don't have it, so I'm not using it. It's one of them. Um, and let me know about this new style. Does it make it easier for everybody? I'm hoping the video doesn't drag out, you know, get boring, but I, I'm hoping it, it speeds things up a little bit, makes everything a bit more... It's not just five minutes of me reading off of cards, which is, is, is nice. Subscribe if you're new around here. We have surpassed a thousand, which is just great now. We're, we're fucking acing this. It's great. Links to all my social and things like that are in the description down below. It's been your boy Acid. And I'll catch you cunts later.